All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to yoga. Find your seat. Have a nice tall spine. All right. And so today, um, we're going to begin. We're going to work on our kidney meridian. Last last week we did bladder, and now we're kidney. So it's front back. So it to the the. Um, Kidney meridian, the bladder meridian, uh, oddly enough, was at the back of our body, right? Because meridians run up and down the back. And our kidney meridian is at the front of our body. Yeah. So, yeah, don't really need to know a whole lot about it. We could go on forever about it. But basically, the kidney meridian starts right here at your chest, runs down the front of your body, and then into the inside of your legs, to the inside of your ankle, and then out your big toe. So that's where the energy flow is. And um, making sense, the kidney meridian is about the flow of water in our body and also the cleansing of our blood stream. So it's important to keep everything flowing, right? Physically and mentally, it's important. And so when we open up these meridians, it does that. It, it helps physically, our physical body, and it also our mental state of being. And so um, just a, a couple of things to know. You probably have heard this before, but our bodies are, we think that they're like um, all solid, but our bodies are literally made up about 60% water. It's anywhere between 50 to 75% water. So it's depending on what we drink and you know, our age and all of that. But all, all, over half of our body is water. So if we're not, if our, we're not flowing, that's 60% of our body is not really operating optimally. So that's why this practice is so important. And then within that 60%, our brain and our heart are about 73% water. So important to get that flow, right? For heart and brain. Yeah, our lungs are 83% water about our skin, which is an organ, is 64%. Our muscles and our kidneys, which we're working on today, it's about almost 80% of water is made up of water. And even our bones are made up of about 30% water. So again, so important. So we're gonna get that flowing going today, right? So nice tall spine reaching the gently the top of your head up towards the sky. You may even gently press down into your feet and just gently feel the top of your head trying to kiss the ceiling. Yeah, and then become relaxed. Shoulders are just back and down slightly, right? Let's flip our palms up. That helps us to open up our upper body as well. And let's start with our fingers, our fingertips, and we're gonna just start to tap into that start of that kidney meridian, that kidney energy and just tap around in there. You can even go out into your pecs a little bit and you might feel some tenderness there. We're just waking up that, the start of that meridian. Good, good. And then relax and let's just shake out our hands and let's just shake the body a little bit, shake off anything that you might've picked up this, this morning at the start of your day. Just let it go, shake it off. Yeah, important to shake. All right, and then let's relax, bring our palms up. And now we're gonna bring our left hand, our uh, left hand onto our belly and our right hand onto our heart. Yeah, or whatever feels more comfortable for you. It doesn't really matter. So if you were here uh, the, earlier this week, we did this full yogic breath from belly all the way up to the collarbone area, this meridian area, good. So let's just take a couple cleansing breaths here. Let's again, get out our stress. So take a long breath in through your nose and just let it out of the mouth. Yeah. Again, take a long breath in and let it go. Whew. You can sigh it out, you can yell it out, whatever you feel like doing. Yeah. And one more. Just notice your belly and your chest when you're doing this. Right now relax and just keeping the hands here. Let's gently float the eyes closed. We're just gonna do a little bit of breathing to come into this space for this hour. And so as you breathe in, gently feel your belly push gently into your hand 
and then slowly feel your heart rise, your collarbones rise. And then as you exhale all through the nose, exhale through your nose, feel your chest relax back and your belly draw in. Yeah. So just let's practice about five of those breaths, full yogic breaths. So breathe in, your belly gently rises and then you feel your heart, your chest rise slightly as the lungs expand. And then exhale, relax the lungs down, chest down and belly draw in. And then so at your own pace, nice and slow. Relax, you can release the hands off your body if you want to. Yeah, that makes it more comfortable. And just bring your palms up on your lap or you can keep your hands there just to help feel that breath, either one. Go as slow as you can. Breath is nice and smooth and relaxed, no effort. So you're just taking in fully, getting oxygen all the way down to the bottoms of your lungs. Yeah, so we're not really breathing into our belly, but when we expand our belly, it helps drop the diaphragm so that the breath can go all the way to the bottom of your lungs as they expand. That was a little chatty. <laughs> All right, and one more breath. Ah, yes, belly rise, chest rise, fill up. Good. And then the next time that you breathe out, chest relaxes, belly draws back and relaxes. Just float your hands down onto your lap if they're not there already. Good. And just notice the flow of energy. Just imagine the flow of energy just running up and down your body and also extending out of your body. Yes, our energy field is around our body, probably about a foot or a foot and a half. Yeah. All right, and now gently and slowly begin to blink your eyes open. Good, beautiful breath, such a beautiful breath, yeah. So our diaphragm, when we breathe in, our diaphragm, if it, can re, if it can relax down, it'll expand our lungs, right? If we're tense and we just breathe in and we don't relax our belly to drop our diaphragm, our breath just goes about a quarter of the way into our lungs or halfway. Yeah, so that's why that full belly breath, practicing that regularly, it's really good for us, for our breath, our breathing. All right, so keeping a nice straight spine, feel free to bring your palms down on your lap and take a nice breath in. And as you exhale, drop your chin. We're just gonna do some head rolls here. So drop your chin to your chest. And then as you inhale, roll your head slowly to the right, bring it back slightly as it comes up and then exhale left and down. I just got a little adjustment there. So just do two more at your own pace. Inhale as you come up. Good. And exhale as it drops down. Good. And then the next time your chin comes to chest, you'll pause and then just rotate opposite direction. Whichever direction you were in, just go the opposite way. Nice and slow. Next time your chin comes to chest, pause. Good. And then slowly lift the head straight back up. Good. And then relax your arms down alongside your body and inhale. Or just do a couple little shoulder pumps here. Yeah. And then at some point, lift the shoulders up and pause. And see if you can reach them up to your ears and breathe, nice slow breath here. And then as you exhale, just melt your shoulders down. Good, nice, okay. So coming into, um, we're gonna float our arms forward and we're gonna flip your right palm up, leave your left palm down, good. And you're just gonna bring your hands into fists and then reach your fingers forward. Hands into fists and forward. Hands into fists 
and forward. And one more as you're as you're coming forward, you're stretching your fingers too. And then relax. And now we're gonna flip. So this time, left palm up, right palm down. And just squeeze and extend and stretch. Squeeze and extend. Squeeze and extend. Good. And then shake it out. Bring your palms together and rub your palms together, creating some heat, some energy. Yeah. Good. And relax. Good. Arms down alongside our body. Good. On an inhale breath, we're going to float your arms forward. You're going to reach your arms up nice and relaxed. So we, you can feel free to keep your arms, the elbows bent slightly. Good. And then you're just going to drop your arms to the side or back a little bit and forward. So you're just going to circle sweep, do back strokes. Yeah. And then inhale as you come up. And this time as we exhale, you're just going to bow forward. Just bring your body forward as your arms drop down. Good. If that feels okay on your back. And then inhale, press into your feet to come up, float your arms up. And exhale, circle sweep back and forward. Drop your body forward. Yeah. Whatever feels good on your body. Yeah. If it's not, if coming forward does not, is not helpful for you, you can just come forward a little bit. Good. And then the next time we come forward and up, we're going to pause. We're going to take a big breath in. And this time as you exhale, you're going to drop your arms forward and bring your body forward because we're just going to reverse the circles. And then you're going to inhale, sweep back and up and exhale forward. And just do three more of those nice and slowly. Nice big breath. Yeah. And then as you exhale, next time you exhale, bring your palms together above your head and float your hands down to your heart. Good. Yeah, and just wiggle out the shoulders. Good. So taking any of these poses, wherever it feels good on your body, never overextending. Yeah. All right, let's pancake our hands one on top of another. Good. And then we're just gonna inhale and go to one side and exhale to the other. Just getting a little twist going on in our spine. You can just take this slowly or you can speed it up if you feel that's more serving your body today. Yeah. But following the breath, inhaling, exhaling. Let's do a couple more. And you can even exhale and let it out your mouth if that feels good. Good. And then we're all going to meet back to center hands back to center. You're going to bend your elbows. Good. You're going to bring your hands into prayer position. And then we're going to lift elbows up. Yes. So we're gently pressing into our hands. We're going to feel that energy here in that meridian, right? Good. And then relax the hands, relax the arms, even though our, our elbows are staying out. We're going to just come into a little bit of a forward twist here. So we're going to take a breath in and as you exhale, turn to the right and then take this left elbow and see if you can drop it down onto the right thigh. And if that's not feeling good, you can drop it to the left thigh. Yeah, good. And then bring your attention to this right elbow. See if you can reach the right elbow up slightly. You can even look at that right elbow and now gently press into your palms. So you're either on, the, that elbow's rested either on your left thigh or across on your right thigh, whatever feels best on your body. Looking over that right elbow, gently pressing. Yeah, and breathe. Again, belly's tucking in slightly, that protects the back. Good. Nice big breath. On your next inhale, Relax, slowly float that elbow up off the thigh and slowly bring your body and your hands back to center point. Good. Relax the elbows down, give them a break, shake it out. Good. Wiggle out those shoulders. Good. And we're just going to do that same thing on the other side. So hands into prayer position, float the elbows out to either side. Good. And take a breath in and as you exhale just turn over to the left and you can remain right here if this is your pose if you want to take this right elbow 
and drop it down either to the right thigh or across to the left thigh. That's just your uh, up to you. Bringing your awareness now, looking up at that left elbow, maybe you reach it up towards the sky a little bit. Maybe you press gently into your palms. Yeah, and breathe. Again, opening up that upper chest, underneath our arms, our lymphatic system. Nice, walk, slow, deep breaths. And on your next exhale breath, Relax the body and slowly float that elbow up a little bit as you bring your body straight back up and hands back to center. Good. And shake out the hands. Good. Let's bring our thumbs. We're going to do a little flicking, like as if you have water on the tip and just start to flick. Yeah. So just getting into our energy body, right? Just getting some energy flowing there. You can flick the water down to the floor, out to the side, up to the sky. Yeah, just flicking. Yes. Sending great energy out just to everything around you. Yes. Good. And relax. Good. All right, Real, uh, nice, again, tall spine, arms down alongside the body. Inhale, slowly float your arms out to either side. Let's bring the palms forward. We're just gonna do a little hug extension here. So take a big breath in, feel your shoulders reach back. Ooh, feel this whole part of your body, even your, your rib cage here, just getting a nice stretch. And as you exhale, cross your arms, grab either your upper arms or your shoulders, yeah and give yourself a little hug. Relax and slowly open back up. Maybe a little further, maybe you even lift your chin slightly. And then exhale, see if you can cross your arms again, opposite arm on top. Yeah, grab the elbows or the shoulders and maybe give a little hug. Good. And then inhale, just make this feel beautiful and nice. And exhale, fold back in, hug it out. And then one more time, extend your arms out to either side. Good. We're gonna flip our palms up now. We're gonna bend our elbows and just land your fingertips onto your shoulders. Good. Yeah, relax the shoulders, pat your shoulders, remind them to relax, relax the neck. Good. And let's just circle our elbows. You can feel that shoulder girdle, that whole top of your shoulder rotating gently. And again, if this is not feeling good for you, you drop your elbows a little bit or don't rotate. Please take care of yourself. Yeah, so wherever it feels comfortable, maybe little circles, maybe bigger circles for you. And then when the elbows come down, just reverse and go the opposite direction as you're breathing. Feeling that whole shoulder get some nice lubrication. Yeah, in a safe way. Good. Next time your elbows come down, just float your hands off of your elbows and release the arms down. Just give your body a shake. Shake off any tension that you might be holding. You can feel it now, right? Be aware of that, that tension. Good. All right, scooting a little bit more forward in our chairs. I'm gonna come into a little side bend here. But to get into this, um, so that again, this meridian is down the front of our body on the inside of our thighs, out, and it does this little circle on the inside of our ankles. We're gonna be taking care of our feet. But to get into this inside, we're gonna take the right leg out to the side. Good. Square your shoulders to the front of the room. Good. Take your right hand across to your left thigh, relax your left arm down. Just coming into a beautiful, graceful side bend. We're gonna turn the palm out, holding onto that thigh for a little leverage here. Inhale, slowly float the arm up. Again, watching the shoulder, but feel free to stay here in cactus pose. If you wanna continue to reach your fingertips up towards the sky, that's an option. Good, take a nice big breath in, stretch up tall. Get so tall, feel that nice stretch on the whole side body here. And then tuck the belly in and exhale, stretch up and just lean over to wherever your body comes. I'm trying to keep the elbows straight if your arm is up. Yeah, because if I bend, I can come over, 
pretty far. Yeah, but we want to keep that elbow straight and keep that shoulder back slightly, maybe even look under the arm and breathe. Imagining the side of your spine, all those vertebrae, getting a nice opening, defying gravity, which pounds our spine down, down, down. Good. And then inhale, slowly float your body back up. Bring a hand, your hand into a fist. And as you exhale and rotate your fist, slowly float your arm down. I'm getting a lot of snap crackling and popping in my wrist today. I need this. Good. Relax the hands. Good. Draw that. Take the belly. Draw it in and bring that right leg in. And we're going to take the left leg out. Good. All right. So same thing on this side. We're going to take that left hand across to the right thigh, right arm down alongside the body. So our shoulders are forward. Our chest is forward. Yeah, it's not leaning towards this extended leg. Good. Palm is out and inhale, just float your arm up to where it's comfortable for you. If it's here for you with a bent elbow, yeah, wherever it is comfortable for you. Good. And take a nice big breath in, stretch up as tall as you can. Good. And then exhale, just drop your body over to the left. Yeah. Try to keep that elbow straight. Good. Maybe the head nips a little closer to the upper arm and breathe in this beautiful extension here. Yeah, for two, for one, press into your feet, slowly bring your body straight back up, bring up your hand into a fist and slowly rotate the fist as you float your arm down towards the floor. Yeah, taking care of that wrist good and relax and then taking your hand on this left leg and help guide it back in the you know, towards good okay so options here are um we can come to a stand or you can continue to remain um in uh in your seat if you would prefer that for the remainder of the class or for part of the class you, you pick yeah i really just want you to take care of yourself yeah that's where we get the wisdom from all this work is to how do I take care of myself? So sliding your heels back, if you want to stand, press into your feet, use those toes and feet to stand up. And we'll all meet behind our chairs here. Okay, so I'm going to take my chair out to the side. You feel free to keep your chair there so you always have something to hang on to if you're feeling, feeling a little precarious. We're going to shake our whole body now yeah so we're going to start you can hold on to your chair actually let's you can start you can come to the side of your chair let's do that so that way you have this little thing to hang on to here good so we're going to start to sh shake our feet just shake your toes side to side yeah good and then shake the other one good and then shake the lower leg so we're just going to work our way up yeah and shake the other lower leg Good. And now shake the whole leg, knee, thigh, everything. Yeah, just move it around. If, you need, if you'd like to keep your toe on the floor, if that's better for you, you can do the same thing. Yeah. All right. And then we're going to shake our hips. Did you ever notice a dog? They start with their head and then they move all the way down their body. Yeah. We're doing the opposite. Shake the waist. Maybe shake the chest a little bit. Good. Shake the shoulders. Shake the arms, shake the hands and fingers, shake the head. Yeah, good. Now we're going to reverse, just like I said with the dog. Shaking the head, shake the shoulders. You're basically just moving. Shake the arms, upper arms, lower arms, hands, fingers isolating a little bit shaking your chest feel your chest and your upper body and your hips yeah going opposite direction good and let's start again with our leg let's just do the whole leg this time good isolate the leg and shake the foot side to side and let's do the other one shake the whole leg good and shake the foot good and relax good shaking it out don't you feel better already just doing that yeah okay so 
Um, coming to the back of our chair here, so you can take the chair now and come to the back of your chair. Softening your uh, feet, your knees just a little bit. We're gonna do our side to side, but today we're gonna do it a little differently, right? So as you go to one side, lift up the heel of the opposite side that you're facing. Yeah, it'll just come naturally, you'll see. But as you go side to side, just lift the heel up. So that gets into our feet a little bit. Yeah, nice and relaxed. Good. That helps. We're just pivoting on our toes as we go the opposite side. Yeah, just a little something different. Allows you to probably twist a little bit more. And as you're going back, now maybe start to tap those kidneys. Yeah. They lie, they lie just about the, right above your waist on your back. Good. And remember, they're almost 80% water, our kidneys. Good. And slowly come out of it. All right, getting your legs a little bit wider apart even, if you can. Toes are at two and 10 o'clock. So here's where we're gonna get the inside of this meridian, right, right at the inside of our legs. Good. And again, here, if you gently press your thighs back and see if your knees will allow you to bend them without any discomfort. If you have any discomfort, just back off a little bit. Might feel nice for your knees to scoot your heels in a little bit forward. Yeah, so that you're feeling like your hips are just nice and um, even with the, the floor. Yeah, and then maybe reach your chest back. You can hold on to your thighs. And let's just do our side to side here. Opening up our hips. Good. Let's come back to center here. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, see if you can sink your hips, your pelvic floor down towards the floor, maybe a little bit more, feeling a little bit more of a stretch here. And then either remain here or you can just glide side to side just a little bit and opening up that whole meridian. It comes to the inside of your knees, down the outside of inside of your calf. Good. And come back to center now, press into your toes as you slowly one little bit at a time, start to straighten the knees because we were there for a little while. So please do it very slowly. Then turn your left toes in and your right toes in. And we're gonna heel toe, heel toe your feet back or just gently step it back to hip distance apart, about two fists. Good, all right. Nice mountain pose here. So we're just gonna lift our shoulders up Roll your shoulders back, melt them down your back. Good. Engage your kneecaps, like lift your kneecaps up, tuck your tailbone down, draw your belly in, shoulders are back. Maybe you just gently draw your palms forward, but arms are relaxed or so not stiff arm, so just relaxed arm, but with palms gently forward. Tuck your chin back slightly. Nice mountain pose. Take a nice big deep breath in. And exhale, let it go. Good. Another big breath in. And release. Now your chair is right there in front of you. So we're going to just bring your fingertips to your chair. And we're going to come up onto our tiptoes. Good. And drop your heels. Lift your toes. You can send your hips back slightly to lift your toes up and draw your toes and lift your heels. Lift your right arm up. Yeah, good. So lift, release your right arm and drop your heels. Send your hips back, lift your toes. Drop your toes, come up one more time. Lift your heels, left arm reaches up. Try to touch the ceiling if you can. That would be a really tall person or a really low ceiling. <laughs> and relax everything down. Drop your heels, your arms, good. Shake it out. Nice. All right, coming into our warrior two pose, which is beautiful for this meridian. So again, legs wide. If you're seated, um, you can just take your knee out to the side, your right knee. 
right? So we're gonna take our right toes out to the side or your knee if you're seated. Left toes can just remain right in front of your body if you're seated, moving forward if you're standing here. Good. And we're gonna slowly draw your arms out to either side. Good. And take a breath in and as you exhale, draw your right thigh back slightly as you just gently bend that right knee right above your heel. Right, we don't wanna have that knee, knee going beyond, certainly not beyond the toes. That's really tough on that knee joint. So we're just right here. If you feel like you need more of a stretch here, you can straighten the legs and just heel toe that back foot back a little bit, get a wider stance, and then come into rebending the knee. And then slowly turn your gaze over to that front middle fingernail and breathe. Nice, big, deep breath. Each time you exhale, See if you can sink your hips down just a little bit more. Pay attention. Now, as you inhale, turn your head back forward. Press into your toes and slowly straighten your knee. Good. We're gonna flip our right palm up. We're gonna take a big breath in and on an exhale breath, you're gonna drop your back arm, that left arm down, and reach your right arm up towards the sky. If you're seated, you're doing the same thing, but you can hang on to the side of your chair with that left hand. Good. And now turning the gaze again and looking up towards the right fingers, coming into reverse triangle. So we're opening up that whole front kidney meridian from our chest down our rib cage, front rib cage, right into our inside of our hips, ankles, and feel the big toes pressing into the floor. And on your next exhale breath, slowly float your arm down. Just let it float down gracefully. Yeah, that right arm. Good. And then turn the head forward. Rotate the toes in. Yeah, and if you're seated, just bring your knee in. If you're standing, again, you can heel toe, heel toe, or just step your feet and shake it out. Good. And then we're just gonna do that same thing on the other side. Yeah, who opening up this whole flow. Yes, all right. So coming again to a wider stance. Good, turn the left toes out now. Good, turn right toes forward. And again, bring your arms into a nice T here. Good, take a big breath in. And as you exhale, again, bending the knee, reaching that thigh back so that the knee is not caving forward. It's right above the ankle. Good, find your stance here. Again, maybe you need to widen it. Maybe you want to shorten it. Good, and then slowly turning your gaze to that front middle fingernail. Find your breath. Slow, long, deep breath here. Yeah. Each time you exhale, ask yourself, can I relax my shoulders? Can I relax my jaw? Can I sink my hips down a little bit more? Can I reach that left thigh back slightly? Can I press into my left pinky toe a little bit? Sending that weight to the outside of the leg and foot. Evening it out. And on your next exhale breath, relax your arms down. Good. Press down into your foot, slowly straighten that right, that left knee now. Good. And then inhale, reach that left arm up towards the sky, finding yourself in reverse triangle. Yeah, you can grab onto your chair with your right hand or just rest your right hand onto your thigh. And then looking up towards those fingers, breathe. For two, and one. And then exhale, just float out of the pose. Float that left arm down, good. Turn forward, draw your toes in, and then heel toe, heel toe, bring those legs back to regular hip distance or wherever. Yeah, 
Let's kick out, shake your fingers, shake your feet as you kick. Maybe come side to side, cross over. Good. All right, nice work. All right, so beautiful pose again for this front kidney meridian is tree pose. So here we're gonna need our chair and maybe come to the right side of your chair here. Okay, so holding on to your chair to begin with. Weight is on the inside leg here, which is probably, if you're on the right side of your chair, it's probably your left leg, yeah. Bending the right knee, good. Let's bring our hand onto our waist. Tuck the belly in and up as you lift your toe up off the floor, good. And now just rotate circles with that right foot. Again, getting into that inside of your ankle, inside of the foot, good and then reverse opposite direction. And if having your knee up is, is not comfortable for you, keep the toe on the floor and just rotate your foot around, on, around your toe. Yeah. Good. And we'll relax, let's just take a little break there. Okay, coming into the beautiful spring trees, all the bright green blossoms and leaves starting to come out. So again, feet hip distance apart. Now, if you're seated, you're gonna take your knee out to the side like we did for warrior two. So first, weight into that standing leg, bend the knee, the right knee. And then you can guide the right knee out to the side. Yes, seated or standing. If you're standing, you're gonna draw the foot to the inside of your ankle. That might give you a little bit more stability. Yeah, good. You can put it onto your calf if you want full weight on that standing leg and a little bit more of a balance challenge, but not necessary. You pick. Good. First, find your way, your balance. So, because we're going to maybe attempt to let go of the chair. So find a spot that's right in front of you. Maybe it's on your wall or whatever it is not moving. And that's a drishti gaze. So stare at that spot and tell yourself, I've got this. I can stay, stay here nice and steady. And then maybe you attempt to bring your hands into prayer position. Yeah. And wait there, right in front of your chest. Find your balance. So this is just a step at a time. And if you're feeling very wobbly, precarious, maybe you bring your hand back to your chair or even a finger. So find your balance. Good. If you would like to raise your hands up towards the sky, you can separate your palms a little bit, tuck your belly in and up as you reach your fingertips up towards the sky. Come into a Y shape with your arms, maybe. Lift your palms up, feel that heart chest open. Good. Find your balance, and if you tend, you're gonna have a ten, if you, if you just topple out, be okay with that and slowly make your way back in or adjust wherever you feel like you can take three breaths, nice and comfortably. Yeah. If you're feeling like you want more of a challenge and your arms are up, you can lift your gaze and look up towards the ceiling slightly. Yeah, that'll give you a little more of a challenge, more of a balance challenge, but only if you want. For two, for one, for a half, Good. If you looked up, bring your gaze back forward, come out exactly the same way you came in, nice and slowly. Bring your palms, arms up and bring your palms together above your head and slowly bring them down. No hurry, nice and slow. Yeah, good. And then relax, release that leg, shake it out. All right, nice job. All right. So wiggle it out, wiggle out any tension that you've built up. Good. And we're gonna slide over to the other side here. Okay. So I don't know if you can hear that, but the lawnmower guys decided to come right now. So I'm just gonna close my door here. You know, it's just part of life. Okay, so same thing on this side, opposite leg. So weight on the inside leg. We're gonna first work our ankle here. So bringing, bending this left knee. Good, hand on hip. You can lift the knee up and rotate. And if you're seated, you can just grab your knee, lift it up and rotate your ankle. Yeah, nice and slow. Getting into that inside, specifically the inside of that ankle bone. 
yeah. And then reverse, go the opposite direction. Nice and slow. Good. Relax, float it down. Good, shake it out. Anytime we're doing those balancing poses, there's a lot of things that tend to tense up, right? So just let it out, let it go. And now we're gonna come into our beautiful tree on this side. So wait into the inside leg, lift that kneecap up, nice sturdy leg, bends right knee, left knee. And now take the knee out to the side and slide the foot to the inside of your ankle or your calf, whatever you did on the other side. If you're seated, you're just taking your left knee out to the side. Good. And now getting your balance here. First, find that little spot, that drishti gaze, and see if you can slowly bring your hands into prayer position. And if that doesn't work for you, if you feel very wobbly today, just bring your hand or finger back to the chair. Good. And then option is to lift your fingertips up in a Y. Lift your belly in and up. Yeah, that'll help your stability. If you're seated here, you can lean your upper body forward for a little bit more of a balance. There, even in your seat, you can get that. Good, and breathe. So find your place here and then find your breath. Good, and again, you can lift your gaze and look up to the ceiling if you're feeling very stable today. It's up to you. Find your place. And then find three long, deep breaths. Tell yourself, I've got this. Yeah. Relax into this challenge. Enjoy the challenge. And the next time you exhale, slowly come back out. Bring your hands together, float them together. Float them down. Bring your body straight back up, standing, let go of a leg, and shake it out. Really nice, everybody. All right. One more standing pose here, bringing your feet back to hip distance apart. Good. Um, and then you're going to put a little soft bend in your knee. If you're seated, you're just staying with your feet hip distance apart. Standing, you're going to, we're all going to drop our arms down alongside our body. We're gonna glide your arms back, coming into that little skier pose. Now, if you're seated, you can grab on to the back of your chair there. Yeah, if you're standing, you're just gliding back. And then I want you to just gently press your spine forward, yeah, your chest forward, and maybe lift your chin. Stretch the whole front of your body. Find relaxation. As you inhale, maybe you draw your arms a little bit further back. As you exhale, just soften, even though this is big front body opener here. And one more breath. And then exhale, relax, draw your gaze back forward, relax your arms down, press into your toes to just straighten those tiny little bent knees. Good, last time, shake it out. If you're, of course, seated, you let go of your chair. Yeah, good. All right, let's all meet back onto our chair if you're not there already. Coming to the front of your chair. So we're gonna do that hip opener in a little bit different fashion today and getting into, ooh, all of this um, nice energy flow from our hips all the way to our toes. Yeah, all right, so nice tall spine. Take a big breath in, and as you exhale, press your belly forward. Come forward just slightly. Clasp your hand behind your right knee. Good. Take your thumb of, uh, of that right hand and just massage the inside of your, uh, of your left hand. Massage the inside of your right knee. That's a nice meridian spot there. Good. Relax. On an inhale breath, press into your feet, slowly lift your head back up. You're still clasping behind there and see if you can lift your knee up, your thigh into your belly. Stretch your shoulders back, good. Let's point our toes down and lift them up and point and flex and point and flex. Again, always keeping the toe down if lifting the weight of your leg is not comfortable, especially on your back. 
All right, so option here is draw, draw that knee in as tight as you can and see if you can bring the outside of the foot, uh, the, the, in, the outside of the foot to the outside of this left leg. Now you can have your knee still up here, right? Yeah, or you can start to relax it down. And if this is not serving you in any way, you're crossing at your ankles. Yeah, good. And now once here, lift the toes up if you're up here, good. And then just, just do a little massage on the inside of that thigh and leg and ankle. Yeah, good. Relax, maybe bring your hands to the knee and the shin, get a nice tall spine. So again, the knee can be up here. Yeah, you can have the outside of your foot. You can see if you can relax the knee down as far as it'll go again, or you're crossed here. Good. And now we're just gonna do our hip opener. So you're either here across at your ankles or your leg is up here. Stretch your chest, lift it up, lift your chin. Good. If you've done that and you find that you're leaning back to do this or you're curled forward, then I invite you to drop it to your ankles. Yes. So we want a tall spine, lift the chin, exhale, press the belly forward, lean the body forward and come as far as you can till you start feeling, boy, stretching that right hip. Good. And then inhale, bring the body back up. We're gonna do that two more times. Exhale with a straight spine, press your belly and your chest forward. Come up maybe a little bit further. Press into the standing leg to come back up. And this time we're gonna come forward again, maybe a little bit further, maybe not. Good, and then pause. Relax the gaze down towards the floor. Close your eyes. Find a nice, deep, long breath here. Bring your attention to areas of the body where you might be holding tension. And each time you slowly exhale your breath, ask yourself, can I relax my shoulders away from my ears? Can I relax my right thigh? If you're crossed at your ankles, can you on the exhale breath, gently guide that right thigh a little closer to the floor? Finding a stretch on that right hip finding that nice, slow, long, deep breath and finding relaxation as you exhale. Jaw, fingers, one more. Just releasing all of our fear, our shame on this side, our mental blockage, right? Our memories, our stuck memories. That's what gets all that flowing, this meridian. Press down and get rid of it. Press down into your left foot, slowly bring your body back up. Good, and let go, let's uncross, yeah. So yeah, when this, that, that meridian, that energy is stuck, it can, in, in, it can fuel fear and, um, you know, can't remember things very well. And of course, bodily issues like inner ankle pain, maybe low back pain, um, a myriad of things. So other side, let's get that side flowing. So take a breath in. As you exhale, glide your belly forward. So it's almost like you're pushing your low back forward. Yeah, and come forward, clasp your hands behind your left knee now. And taking that right thumb on the inside of the left knee and just giving it a little massage. opening of this meridian is also amazing to cleanse our bloodstream, our blood. It filters our blood impurities. And then relax and on an inhale breath, slowly bring the body back up. Again, see if you can tuck the belly in and hug the knee up into your chest or the thigh into your belly. And if that's not serving you, keep the toe on the floor. Good. And let's point the toe down, flex it up and point and flex and point and flex. And now on this side, belly tucks in, 
See if you can draw the foot, this left right left foot to the outside of the right leg. Yeah, and again, your knee can be pretty high up or you can relax it down. Yeah, and maybe you slide the outside of the ankle. So just find a place where you're feeling a stretch on this left hip, but you're not leaning forward or you're not leaning back to get there, right? And if that is the case, we are sliding that foot down and just crossing at our ankles nice and comfortably here. Good, all right, so either way, here, let's lift the toe up, good. And let's just do a little massage of that inside of the thigh, inside of the calf and onto the ankle. Yeah, good foot. All right, so again, find your legs. So you're either here, maybe you can go wider for a bigger opening, that is not comfortable on me. Yeah, and then litmus test here is to lift the chest, lift the chin, yeah. And if this is really uncomfortable, then you might want to slide and cross at the ankles. Good, all right. Now we're gonna do three little practice forward folds here. So take a breath in and exhale. Draw your belly forward and come forward. Ah, just till you start to feel on this side, it's for me is a lot tighter. Yeah, and then come back up. And then exhale, come forward again. Maybe you go a little further, your spine's nice and straight, head staying right above the shoulders. Come back up, good. Now third time's a charm here, slowly come forward to your edge. Good, and then you can look down at the floor. And breathe. Close your eyes here. Feel what's going on in that left hip and in your body. And just take nice, long, slow, deep breaths. Yeah, and each time that you exhale your breath, see if you can soften your shoulders away from your ears. You can soften your back. Maybe your hands, your jaw. Maybe that left hip. Each exhale, just send yourself into quiet, relaxing, even in this challenge. See if you can release and let go. All the tight, stiff muscles that have built over, up over time. Good. On your next inhale breath, when you're ready, press down into your standing right foot. Slowly bring the float the body back up with still a nice straight spine. And let's release that out. Ooh, yeah. Wiggle the hips side to side. Shake out the body. Shake the head. Shake it off. Let it go. And relax the arms down alongside the body. And again, we're going to glide our arms back. Grab onto the back of the chair here. Good. Relax your shoulders and stretch your shoulders back. See if you can touch your shoulder blades onto your back. Lift your chin. Yeah. Imagining all your fluid in your body just flowing freely. Again, with that fluid flowing, it helps us to rid impurities in our bloodstream as well. Yeah, our fluid is our little river for all of our blood cells. Good. And now keeping hold of the back of your chair, bring your gaze forward. Take a big breath in and as you exhale, just release your chin down to your chest and let your body just drape or fall forward here. Yeah, so this should feel nice. Final pose here until Shavasana. Find your breath each time you exhale. Again, exhale out all of that negative uh, guilt we might feel when this uh, meridian is stuck. Uh, shame, fear, and invite gentleness and wisdom. Yes, functional wisdom. And on an inhale breath, slowly lift the head back up. Good, gently release your hands from the back of the chair. And shake out the hands, bend the elbows, palms forward and just stretch. 
Stretch the fingers and curl them in. Stretch the fingers. And one more time, stretch, stretch, stretch. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Good. Hello, everybody. <laughs> and relax. All right, if you are seated and you're gonna do seated Shavasana, lean forward, slide your hips all the way to the very back of your chair. Leaning forward helps you get those hips wedged at the very back of your chair. Feel free to lay down on your carpet or wherever you are, a mat if you put it out. Yeah, and we're gonna come into final relaxation pose, Shavasana. Good. So taking a nice big deep breath in, exhale, ah, sigh it out. Good. Another nice big deep breath in. And as you exhale through the nose, Allow your eyes to float closed. Noticing the body start to melt and relax on the exhale breath. Good. So coming into a couple of those belly chest breaths here. You're just gonna breathe in, feel your belly gently rise a little and feel your chest expand and stretch. And as you breathe out, relax your chest and your belly. Let it melt back. Good. One more just like that. Relax, let go. Coming into final relaxation now. Eyes are closed. Body begins to just relax. Maybe the palms are up on your lap or down. You're seated. If you're laying down, palms are up, arms away from your body, legs slightly apart. Just find your space. Do a last little few adjustments to get completely relaxed and comfortable here. Cover up. Relax the eyelids. little smile to your face. Feel all the muscles of your face relax. Relax the back of your head. Your shoulders. Take a gentle breath in and feel your heart relax. All of your internal organs, your heart, your stomach, your spleen, gallbladder, intestines, belly, Feel the entire back relax, your kidneys, adrenals, hips. Relax your legs, upper legs, lower legs. Relax your ankles, your feet toes, take a gentle breath in, and as you slowly exhale, feel the whole body relax, Just observe the flow of energy from head to toe. Imagine all the fluid in your body freely flowing. And just let go of all of your efforts now. And simply relax. mind 
mind begins to wander, just let it. Your thoughts are constantly coming and going. Just let them be. That gentle little smile left your face, bring it back. become silent. Let all the sounds around you simply be. You are peace. You are peace. breath in and let it go. Bring your awareness to how you feel in this moment. Gently and slowly bring your awareness to the sounds around you. And begin to wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers. Take a little bit deeper breath in and let go. If you're laying down, you may feel free to stay in Shavasana as long as you'd like. If you'd like to make your way out, if you're laying down, bend your knees and roll over onto one side. If you're seated, just start to sway your body side to side. Let your head nice and loose sway side to side. Oh, yeah, just moving a little, making it feel nice, beautiful. Come back to center and we'll all meet coming into a seat and bringing our hands into Anjali Mudra prayer position. Resting your thumbs onto your chest, onto your heart, onto that meridian, that kidney meridian right there. Ha, ah, gaining some wisdom today. So take a nice big deep breath in. And as you exhale, just allow your forehead to drop to your fingertips, relax your shoulder blades, relax the body. In closing practice today with these words of wisdom, see everything, overlook a lot, and correct little. See everything, overlook a lot, correct little. And when you feel ready and complete, and gently begin to just 
crack your eyes open slightly, letting the light in, just peeking in. And then start to flutter the eyes, opening the eyes slowly, lifting the head up. Thank you all for coming and taking care of your beautiful selves today. Have a lovely rest of your day and week. Namaste.